What's up, hardware? Welcome to your Watt Brief for Monday. This is your at-home Watt Brief. So what we're gonna do here is try to find ways, creative ways, uh, to get your workout done at home, even though I am going to presume you have no equipment at home uh, anymore. If you do, that's great. You can follow along with what it says on the WAD page for what we're doing in class. It'll probably be a little more in line with what you have. But if not, we're kind of going back in time to the first couple weeks of hardware at home where all we had was the trusty suitcase full of books, all right? So today is our second week of our new leg day cycle. Uh, if you came to class last week, we walked you through the tempo on the split squats and the hamstring walkouts. But uh, if you did not make it to that, I'll cover it right now. Let's start with the warm up. We're gonna start with 20 jumping jacks, nice and easy. Just trying to get the heart rate up a little bit. Five slow squats because we have a lot of squatting today. Obviously it's leg day. And then five slow good mornings. You can either puff that chest up this way and try to, oh my gosh, my hamstring are sore. Squeeze your butt that way or this way. But if you struggle with the upper back, this way might lead you to getting a little here. So whatever you can do to puff that up, squeeze those back muscles. And five hollow rocks. I just want you to get into a hollow position for a moment and then go one, two, three, four, five. If you can stop and hold still, that's extra bonus points. Three rounds of that combination, okay? After that, we're getting into the leg day cycle. So this is every four minutes, four times. All that is, is it's meant to give you a little bit of rest because I find that if we just say do four rounds, people just go four rounds continuously and they don't rest. Or you're like me, you do one set, and you accidentally take like a seven minute break before your next set. So every four minutes is just meant to guide you on when to start your next set. Your sets are going to be eight to 12 split squats on each leg. You can hold a weight for that if you'd like. Uh, you with this tempo, you might not need to. The tempo is three seconds down. Technically, we're gonna call it 3101, which just means you take a pause at the bottom, pause at the top. But what that looks like is three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. So you could hold something here if you wanted to, if you have like a heavy bag or something like that or a weight at home. But honestly, if you go 12 reps with that really slow tempo and you're squeezing and bracing the whole time, that's gonna be good. That's probably gonna be plenty for a lot of people. Eight to 12 on one leg, eight to 12 on the other leg, three hamstring walkouts. This is the movement where we get up into a glute bridge, take seven to 10 tiny steps out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend. Butt is still in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just a quick note. I should have had you time that because in class I demonstrated it just like that, and people said, "Got it." Seven to ten steps, and then I got a couple of people doing this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I was like, well, that's not really the point, is it? So make sure you take a little bit of time, stay under tension. I know it's uncomfortable, but just a nice steady marching pace is gonna be great. You do that four times, eight to 12 squats, eight to 12 squats, three hamstring walkouts. After that, we have a super simple workout on the docket today. This is in class, three rounds for time of 20 kettlebell swings, uh, two bear crawls, which will be determined by the space, and 20 V-ups. The reason I wanna mention that is because now you know what our at-home version is trying to mimic. We're gonna do 20 of either, if you can find an odd object to swing, that would be awesome. 20 swings, let's just take them to eye level, like so. If you have something that maybe is heavy but you can't quite swing it, you could also turn this into a deadlift. So you can do 20 deadlifts. Or if you don't have anything, you can go back to those good mornings from the top of the day and just hinge over, stretch the hamstrings, one. Stretch, two. Stretch, note in this position that my spine is still above parallel. 
Sometimes when we get into these as a substitution, I see people going too far, just going way too far, and it gets a little rounded over. So those are your options for the first movement. Now, instead of two bear crawls, we're gonna do something that uh, I think I just invented called 30 bear crawl taps. So essentially we're, we're combining the movement of the bear crawl, the position of the bear crawl, with shoulder taps like we might do in a plank, okay? So for one rep, you're gonna be in the bear crawl position. I'm gonna explain it first because my face is gonna go down to the ground in a moment. You're gonna do one shoulder tap, which is almost like that pike position shoulder tap. But at the same time, I want you to pick up your opposite leg. So you're still getting the same movement like you're doing that bear crawl, okay? So that would look <coughs> something like this. Can you see my feet? Mm -hmm. So I'm here. I'm trying to stay in this high position here. It's probably you want to flatten out a little bit. That's okay. I'm trying to stay pretty much head through the window. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to 30. All right, again, same thing that I just said about the hamstring walkout. Take your time with that. No trying to sprint it. Don't rush it. A little bit of time is good. And 20 V-ups. Of course, those can be any kind of sit-up you like, but any kind of crunching is going to match that idea. All right? So that was three rounds for time, 20 swings or deadlifts or good mornings, 30 taps in the bear crawl position, and 20 V-ups. Cool down. This, should, this split squat cycle is gnarly on the quads, so we want to get some couch. One minute couch on each leg. One minute of a seated forward fold, just nice and relaxed. And then one minute of child's pose, and I want you to bend the elbows to kind of increase the stretch in the shoulders. I always feel that more in, the, in my lats and my triceps. One minute there, okay? That is a big old session to do at home with no weight or hopefully maybe an odd weight. Uh, hope you have fun with it. Hope those quads hold up through it all and let me know how it goes.